Good question. How do you contribute to this household? Can you get off my pattern, please? All right, time to go. I have a very ambitious project. I'm going to the beach tomorrow, and I thought it would be nice to have a, a cotton dress to, to wear to the beach. And I thought, I have this cute pattern. Why not just whip one up <laughs> in a few hours? I don't really want to finish it. I have some just white cotton and I have some yellow cotton. So I have to decide which one I want to try. And then if I don't finish it, who cares? So I have the pattern that I have to cut out first if Oliver gets off of it. And then I will pin it, cut it out with the fabric, and see how I can put this together. But I guess first I need to read the instructions. That would probably be a good place to start. This is one of my many struggles. When I do my measurements, how the hell am I supposed to cut this? I guess I'll do the big girl size and I'll have to fit it. <laughs> what happens when you're shaped weird. this fabric to make the whole dress so I'm going to combine this with this bitch I think I'm going to do that as the bottom of the skirt and then this as the bodice or maybe I should do the other way around so I'm doing dress B I think that'll be the easiest. I might add a pocket, who knows, might get even fancier. So with B, I need to have it folded in half like this, and then have the skirt pieces, and I think, I don't know what that is. And then again, so this is single thickness. I just don't think I have enough fabric to do all one. So I'm gonna do this, the plain yellow, and this, the check. And we'll see how that goes. Get into cutting. Talk about having just enough fabric. That's excess right here. It ends right there and right there. <laughs> that was lucky. All right, I have all my pieces cut out. And these, one, two, three, four, these four pieces, this where to go this piece yeah this piece got to do a pleat in the back and then once actually I've actually followed directions I have to do the stay stitching around the looks like the shoulder no around the neckline so around the neckline of these pieces here and then there is, it looks like a pleat, or a dart, I mean, um, yep, right here. It'll help it fit a little bit nicer. So I'll do the dart and the stay stitching, and then I'll do the big old pleat, and then put it together. Sounds easy, I guess? We'll see. So for the dart, I just marked where the dots were on the pattern, and I'm going to bring these together and sew from there to the middle dot, and that will create the little dart. So 
So I'm trying to figure out this plate. So I took where is it? the pattern. There we go. And I put a pin. Oh, it did line up a second ago. Alright. Put a pin where the line is here. And then I just flipped it over for the other side and put a pin there. And I'm thinking I just have to bring those two pins together and then flatten that out. That seems, that's what that's telling me to do, right? Eh, we'll see. I'm so excited. I've read these instructions 3,000 times and it was not making sense. And then all of a sudden it just kind of clicked and it made sense. And I just went for it and it, it worked. <laughs> and I'm so excited. This is so stupid. I can read instructions and I'm excited. But this is what I was doing. So is to put on the, where the, I think this is where the buttons go. And the instructions were just so confusing. And then I finally, read it for the hundredth time and made it made sense and it looks so smooth now i'm just doing the other side all right I had to take a break from the bodice because doing the edging was driving me crazy so i have the pocket pinned to one side of the skirt i'm going to do the same thing on the other one and then it looks like i so each of them to the skirt and then you fold it out like that and then you sew around the entire thing and it flips and so I don't know I'm gonna figure it out all right so skirt is all sewn around the edges obviously not top but all that not that silly um, so now I'm going to attach the bodice and kind of see how that goes. I still have buttonholes and all the hemming to do and it's very late. I'm tired. This is a little too ambitious to have it ready in one night. So we'll see how far this goes and then I think I'm just gonna call it a night. I'm kind of over it. Alright, this is like I guess the moment of truth. I have the bodice attached to the skirt now I have to flip it inside out and see if it looks crazy. <laughs> and then it's all the hemming and the buttons and then it'll be done. I'm tired. All right, let's see if this looks great. Seems like it'll fit. There's pockets, which I almost skipped, but you never skip pockets. I think it actually looks pretty good. So let me finish all the hemming. Well, that's crooked. No, it's not too bad. <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. <laughs> but let me, I don't know. All this hemming looks terrible. That's like witchcraft science right to me right now. So I might just undo that and then save that for when I get back. So, didn't meet that deadline. <laughs> I knew that was a lofty goal when I started. So I did pretty much finish it. It was really just the buttonholes and then the hemming that was left, but I started doing the hemming around the shoulders and it was terrible. <laughs> So I gave up, um, but this is what it looks like. And then also my husband said it looks like a birdie bunch dress. So not really the aesthetic I was going for. So I wasn't crazy about it. And then I thought, well, this is why people do mock-ups. So there are a couple things that other than giant strings hanging everywhere, um, like I messed up on the pocket and 
how I connected the bodice to the skirt. So I kind of figured out, and well, and obviously the hemming because it was terrible, but I kind of figured out what I did wrong. And as I tried it on and was, you know, seeing how everything fit, I realized you know, what I did wrong, what I could do better. So what I'm doing now, and we'll see if this works, I cut everything out again in a different pattern that's less, I'm hoping this is less pretty bunchy. Um, and then I cut everything else, or all the patterns out in this pattern and in white. And then I'm sewing, I put like sides together. So this is my next one. I put the right sides together and then I flipped it inside out and then I'll press the seams. And I'm hoping that when I put it all together, then like this is the bottom of the skirt, it's already kind of hemmed. I might still fold it up a little bit and hem it just so that I don't have any of the white poking out. But I'm thinking this will give me some cleaner edges because I just, I don't even know how it's possible to hem stuff like this. And if this little man doesn't stop stepping on everything, he's going to get pinned in his foot in an accident. He's going to break my heart. So that's what I'm doing now. Just sewing these together and then I'll put the whole thing together again. Now that I know, you know, what I did wrong. Obviously it's not going to be a beach dress anymore, but that's cool. We'll see. I'll find some place to wear it. Let's try this again. <laughs> measure out the buttons which I was doing before and then I dropped everything um, so I think I measured out I think it was three inches per button I'm just gonna mark it and then do the button holes and then so the buttons on what a concept <laughs> all right so if I just measure how long this is yeah I had this one right at 11 so I guess that's where the middle of the buttonhole will be. Um, so let's mark these. I'll probably do the bottom one first because then if I don't have a button at the top, I don't care so much. But that might help make sure they're spaced out, right? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. these buttonholes I just have to cut them out and then I'll put the buttons on the other side and then it should all come together. Okay, should be good. So now I just have to figure out where to put the buttons on the other side, which I think I'm going to sew down here just to make this a bit cleaner. Um, it should be good to go. as a summery 
dress to take the beach, make in a couple hours type of thing, which hold on. This is the first attempt and I gave up before I was done with it. But it was turning out a bit too like something a little girl would wear or as Scott called it, a Brady Bunch dress and that kind of ruined it for me. Um, so I used this almost like a mock-up and then changed the way I went about the pattern and I really like how it turned out. I'm actually really happy with it and I definitely changed the pattern. It's here somewhere. So it's supposed to be, I'm not sure if that's working. It's supposed to look like this, but when I just did the straight line across, it looked like a straight jacket. <laughs> so I folded this, no, folded this side over to make it almost, just to give it a little bit something extra going on. But I really like the buttons. It's great that it has pockets. I added a couple darts in the back to make it fit a little bit better because my sizes are so, or my measurements are so weird. It, it was like fit in some places and bigger in others. So put some darts in that made it fit a bit nicer, but I'm really happy with it. So I'll probably wear it with like a little sweater, um, maybe a navy sweater and some heels, and maybe wear it to my sister's wedding next weekend. Probably wear it even to work. So really happy with it. We'll see what happens when I wash it. Might ruin it. <laughs> Not sure. Learned a lot. I feel like every time I do a new pattern, I'm learning more stuff, which I guess is the whole point of doing a new craft or a new hobby. So I have a million other patterns I have to get through. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, but it's really fun. So here we go.